When you hear the words coal and charcoal, it's easy to assume they're basically the same thing. After all, they're both black, they both burn, and they've both been used by humans for centuries as sources of energy. But in reality, coal and charcoal are very different materials with unique origins, chemical compositions, and applications. Understanding these differences not only clears up common misconceptions, but also reveals fascinating insights about history, technology, and the environment. So in this video, we're going to break down coal versus charcoal, how each is made, how they've been used through time, and why their impact on our world couldn't be more different. Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. Coal is one of the most important fossil fuels in human history. It forms naturally over millions of years from the remains of ancient plants, primarily from swampy forests that existed hundreds of millions of years ago. When these plants died and were buried under layers of sediment, heat and pressure slowly transformed the organic matter into peat, then into coal. This process, known as coalification, takes geological time frames to occur, meaning coal is not something that can be replaced or renewed on a human time scale. Coal comes in different grades depending on how far it has progressed in this transformation. Lignite, bituminous coal, and anthracite, each with increasing carbon content and energy density. Essentially, coal is nature's compressed time capsule of ancient plant matter turned into combustible rock by the Earth itself. Charcoal, on the other hand, is very different in origin. Unlike coal, it is not a fossil fuel that formed millions of years ago, but rather a human-made product. Charcoal is created by burning wood in a low-oxygen environment, a process called pyrolysis. By limiting the oxygen, the wood doesn't burn completely. Instead, water, volatile compounds, and impurities are driven off, leaving behind a carbon-rich residue. This product is much lighter than the original wood, burns hotter, and produces less smoke, which makes it ideal for cooking and metalworking. Unlike coal, which takes ages to form, charcoal can be produced in a matter of days. For thousands of years, Humans have used charcoal for everything from smelting metals in ancient civilizations to grilling food in modern backyards. Another key difference between coal and charcoal lies in their composition and how they burn. Coal typically contains not only carbon, but also varying amounts of hydrogen, sulfur, nitrogen, and other trace elements. When burned, these impurities can release pollutants like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides, which contribute to acid rain and air pollution. Charcoal, on the other hand, is primarily pure carbon with minimal impurities, which is why it burns cleaner, with less smoke and fewer toxic emissions. Coal burns longer and provides more energy making it useful for large-scale industrial applications like electricity generation and steel production. Charcoal, while it burns hotter in smaller bursts, doesn't have the same sustained energy output, which is why it's used in smaller-scale activities like cooking, heating, and artisanal work. Coal has played a monumental role in shaping the modern world. Its widespread use began to rise during the Industrial Revolution in the 18th and 19th centuries. Steam engines, locomotives, factories, and power plants ran on coal, fueling rapid industrialization and urbanization. Without coal, many of the technological advancements of that era would not have been possible. Even today, coal remains a major source of electricity generation in many countries. Although its use has declined in recent decades due to environmental concerns and the rise of renewable energy sources. Coal's significance can't be overstated. It powered industries, 
built cities, and changed the trajectory of human civilization. Charcoal, while not as dominant on an industrial scale, has an equally fascinating history. Long before coal drove the Industrial Revolution, charcoal was indispensable in the ancient world. Civilizations like the Egyptians and the Chinese used it for smelting copper, bronze, and later iron, which were essential for tools, weapons, and construction. Charcoal's ability to reach high temperatures without excessive smoke made it a perfect fuel for blacksmithing and metallurgy. Beyond industry, charcoal was also used in medicine, art, and even as a preservative. Today, its most common use is in cooking, where it provides that distinct smoky flavor loved in barbecues and grilled foods. One of the biggest distinctions between coal and charcoal lies in their environmental impact. Burning coal releases large amounts of carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas that contributes to global warming. It also emits sulfur compounds, mercury, and particulates that can harm human health and ecosystems. The mining of coal is another environmental concern, often involving destructive practices like mountaintop removal and strip mining. Charcoal, while not perfect, is generally less damaging. Because it's made from wood, it can be considered renewable if the wood is sourced sustainably. However, in some parts of the world, unsustainable charcoal production has led to deforestation and habitat loss. The key difference is that coal is non-renewable and highly polluting, while charcoal can be renewable and relatively cleaner, though it still requires responsible management. In modern times, the role of coal is shrinking especially as countries transition toward cleaner energy sources like natural gas, solar, wind, and hydropower. Still, it remains a major energy provider, particularly in developing nations where coal-fired plants are widespread. Charcoal, meanwhile, has maintained its niche role. It remains popular for cooking, especially in outdoor grilling, and in some parts of the world, it is still a primary household fuel. Additionally, activated charcoal, a processed form with high porosity, has found uses in medicine, water purification, and even cosmetics. So the next time you see a lump of coal or light up a piece of charcoal on a grill, remember the vast difference between them. One is a gift from the Earth's distant past, and the other is a product of human craft. Both have shaped history in profound ways, and both continue to teach us about the delicate balance between progress and responsibility. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.